Good afternoon, fifth grade. In today's STEM activity, we are going to recreate the Apollo capsule. We are going to use tin foil to uh, make tiny replicas of our capsules. Um, you're just going to need a small piece of tin foil and then crumple it up nice and tight so it's about the size of a tin bit. Um, if you don't have tin foil, uh, scrap paper will work uh, or newspaper will work as well. You're going to want to make two of these because one of these is going to be our testing. Uh, capsule and the other one is going to be our control to see how successful our parachute is. Um, your parachute, um, some of you have coffee filters. Um, if you're at home and you don't have coffee filters, a plastic bag, shopping bag will work just as well. If you are using coffee filters, I'm going to suggest that you use two or three and then attach them together with a piece of tape. It'll make your parachute a little bit more sturdy. You'll also need string of any kind. Any kind of string will work. You will now have five minutes to um, construct your parachute, uh, crumple up your test capsule and your control capsule, and then attach your capsule to your parachute. Um, so the goal of your replica is going to be to see if your parachute does its job. If your parachute does its job, it's going to slow down the test capsule um, from hitting the ground. So when we test them, we're going to drop your test capsule with your parachute and the control capsule. And if your parachute does its job, the control capsule will hit the ground before your test capsule. Your parachute will slow down the landing of the Apollo capsule. All right, you have five minutes. You can start building and then we can test our capsules. Just pause. All right, now I'm ready to test my capsule. I have my testing capsule attached to my parachute, and then I have my control capsule. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold them, get to the highest point that I can, right below my ceiling here, and drop them both at the same time. Remember, if your parachute does its job, your control capsule will hit the ground just before your parachute capsule. All right, let's try it out. We see my parachute pops over a little bit, but I heard my and saw my control capsule hit the ground just a split second before my parachute capsule. You can try it um, a few times, and again, if your parachute does its job, your capsule without the parachute will hit the ground before your capsule with the parachute.